This lesson is going to cover three of the aggregate functions in Google Sheets, the sum function, the sum if function, and the sum ifs function. So you can see in this illustration here we have monthly sales revenue for three different branch locations. And the first thing we'd like to do is simply use the sum function to total up this sales revenue column. So underneath the last row that has a value, I'm going to type equals and the word sum. From there, I'm going to hit tab. And the nice thing about Google Sheets is it autofills the range it thinks you want to sum. So just verify that it's correct. And it is C2 through C19. So I'm just going to hit enter. And we have our total sales revenue. Not much to that one. So the next function we're going to cover is the sum if. And what the sum if function does is it sums based on a single criteria that you specify. So here we'd like to sum the total sales revenue for just the east branch. So we'll type equals and sum if, hit tab. Our first input is going to be our range, which is our criteria range. Well, that's going to be our location column. So a cool trick is you can select the first cell in this range, hit control shift down arrow, and then we'll select the entire range. Now it's good practice to hit F4 to lock this range down. You can see those dollar signs appear in front of the column and row references. What that means is once I've input this function, if I were to copy or drag this formula down or across or anywhere else, that reference is fixed. It will stay the same no matter where I move this formula. So our criteria is going to be the value in cell F2, which is our east branch. Our sum range is our sales revenue. So I'm going to select this first cell again, hit control shift down arrow, and then F4 to lock it down. So you can see we get our total sales revenue for just the east branch. So in our final example, we're going to cover the sum ifs function. And what that function does is it sums based on multiple criteria. So here we'd like to sum based on both the branch type and the month because each branch in our data set has two sales revenue values for each month. So we'll type the sum ifs function, hit tab. Now the order of the inputs is different from the singular sum if. It begins with the sum range first followed by your criteria range and criteria. So we're going to begin with our sum range, hit F4 to lock that down because we are, once we input this formula, we're going to drag it across and down. So we want to make sure everything is fixed. So our criteria range number one is going to be our location column. Hit F4 to lock that down. Our criteria is going to be our branch here in this cell. Now this is going to be a mixed reference. We want to keep this column locked when we drag this formula to the right, but when we drag it down we want it to remain relative on the row side. So we're going to hit F4 three times and you can see the dollar sign is only in front of the column reference. That is fixed. The row is relative. Our second criteria range is going to be our month column. So we're going to hit F4 to lock that down because we always want to point to that column. And our second criteria for that column is going to be our month date value here in this cell. And this time we have another mixed reference going the opposite way. We want to keep this row fixed but the column relative we want it we want it to be fixed so that when we drag this formula down it still points to this value in this cell here so we want to keep the row locked but the column relative when we drag it to the right so we're going to hit f4 two times and you can see only the row is locked now so we're going to close this out hit enter 
I'll drag this to the right and then down and if we want to test this out I'll just sum up manually the south branch for the month of March oh. and we get the exact same value as we do here with our formula and if we wanted to just simply sum up this whole range and make sure it ties out to our total we can do that as well and we are good so that is just three of the aggregate functions in google sheets hey if you like what you saw today please subscribe to the excel cave thanks for watching